Hi, I'm Mark. This is the Geek Legion of Doom, and I'll be having a look at the movie The Crown and the Dragon, also known as The Crown and the Dragon, The Paladin Cycle. So this is an independently produced fantasy movie, and the story focuses on a young woman called Ellen, who is a kind of noble woman who is charged with transporting with her aunt a, a relic that's hoping to sort of reunite the kind of the rebel forces within this kind of land to sort of rise up and overtake this kind of occupying force that has sort of taken over their country. And this relic apparently is, got, is the key to sort of uh, uniting these people and whatnot. Uh, on the way on the way there, they're attacked by these sort of guards of this occupying forces and ultimately the aunt is killed. And she has to team up with a, a kind of rogue thief type guy who's kind of like in, in the sort of Han Solo mold really. So she, along with this sort of rogue guy called Aiden, basically have to sort of try and get this relic to some other place ultimately where it can be sort of reforged and used as a power to defeat this big dragon that's kind of terrorizing the uh, the sort of the countryside and defeat the bad guys and whatnot. So it's really just a MacGuffin ultimately to get from one place to another. So kind of what's the film like? It's actually not too bad in certain respects. I have to say it's a relatively low budget film and it's made by relatively inexperienced people. I believe the director, this is only her second movie. I think it looks fantastic. I think it's all shot in Ireland, I believe, and I think it, it really does show. I think the acting is pretty good. Uh, the two leads, the um, Aiden and I think it's Ellen, I believe the characters are called, I actually think they have a pretty good, decent chemistry. And I actually have to say that the acting was, was fairly good for this sort of level. There's um, some of the set design is pretty nice, and there's a there's a really good bad guy who is this sort of Darth Vader like sort of spirit type guy who kind of transforms into this sort of murder of crows and sort of reattaches and kind of, he's pretty decent, although he kind of isn't in the film as much as I would have liked. So what's bad about this film? Well. As I say, it's maybe a little bit melodramatic, I have to be honest with you. Far too much time is kind of spent on the sort of the, the romance, and I get the impression it kind of wants to be this kind of big romantic epic, and it, it really just kind of wastes a little bit too much time on that. I have to say the script isn't fantastic as well, and this, it was co-written by the director here, but I think maybe the script wasn't fantastic, because to be honest with you, it's fairly pedestrian. All the characters are kind of cliche. You know, for example, when when we first meet the kind of these this rogue, this kind of like who ends up kind of being the hero, he's there with like another prisoner, and he's bald. You know, he's going to be a bad guy. So stuff like that. It's just um, there's a few sort of instances where I think it's just very cliche and very sort of pedestrian. I guess maybe the major issue here is that we may not have this kind of female protagonist who's like meant to be this kind of like the chosen one who's just sort of paladin ultimately who's going to sort of the chosen one to defeat the dragon, but we really don't see anything uh, of heroic from her. From when we first meet her, she's constantly the one getting rescued and kind of having to be defended. And we don't really see anything that she does heroically or that makes me think she's worthwhile being this, this great champion because she's just a sort of a, a damsel in distress ultimately. So it's, and the other thing I guess, it maybe gets a little bit boring. Like I said, I think maybe it focuses a little bit too much on this, trying to be this sort of like this epic romance type thing, like this medieval romance, but it just ends up being a little bit boring sometimes. And I also thought maybe sometimes the character's motivations were, a, were you know, a little bit murky sometimes. I, thought, I didn't really quite understand, like the bad guys, for example. I didn't really quite understand some of their motivations some of the time. But I have certainly seen Sort of worst fantasy films of this kind of low budget genre. Yes, the CGI is never going to be fantastic in these films, but I think it's it's serviceable for this sort of level of, of B movies. I've seen worse, certainly, um, but it, you know it's fine. I got actually I think maybe the dragon wasn't fantastic because it just simply hanging around pretty much all the time, and we we sort of see we see some sort of shots of it throughout the film, and it doesn't really do very much apart from just kind of fly around and the actual sort of final confrontation with the dragon, I have to say, is a bit of a letdown. Now, in regards to other sort of fantasy stuff in this film, there's not a lot here, really, that's kind of more, that is really fancy. Like I say, I think one of the best bits in this film is kind of where we see this kind of, like, Darth Vader-type shadow. who looks a bit like the Nazgul from Lord of the Rings, and he kind of, like, as I say, disappears in like a bunch of crows. And he's pretty decent, and he kind of mutters as he's sort of talking, and, you know, he looks kind of cool, but unfortunately, he's probably only in it 
that half film. But certainly not a bad effort. I think maybe we'll see sort of, sort of more from this creative team as they sort of maybe get a little bit more experience and maybe get a little bit of budget. But it's certainly not a, not a bad film. Uh, especially if you wanted like a, a big scale, lots of like violence, lots of um, you know fancy creatures, you're not gonna be, you're not really gonna find it here. And lastly, I guess the only other th negative thing I would have to say about it, the fight choreography isn't particularly great. There's not a lot of fighting in it, if I'm completely honest with you. But the fighting that we do have is is pretty uh, pretty boring to watch. But like I said, it's kind of a bit of a mixed bag. There are some sort of certain things you can enjoy here. The score, I think, is fantastic. And it really does sort of bring out, it really makes it feel like it's a higher budget film than it is, so I think, sometimes. But I'm going to give this one a 4.5 out of 10. So it's certainly not a bad film. Uh, and, you know, it's worth watching if you're a hardcore sort of fantasy film fan. But there you go. We'll see if they do, if they can produce maybe something a little bit more interesting next time. So what did you think of it? Leave me a comment. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,